So first things first with brows, if you have wild and crazy brows, you want to make sure that you have them groomed. Get them threaded, get them waxed, whatever you do to get the unnecessary hair away from it. I like to get mine threaded or I pluck in between. So first thing you want to do is take a spoolie and brush your brows in the natural... Why can I not talk? In the natural direction that they grow. Is I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in the shade medium brown and I am taking my MAC 212 brush. This is my baby. I use this brush for everything and on every single client. It's just awesome. And just take a few dabs at it. With this product, it's very pigmented. You don't need a lot of it. This is take my brush, make it parallel to my brow and I'm going to put a line right there at the bottom see and I'm going to go out and I'm going to carve out all the way to the end now I'm lightly doing this I'm not pressing it very hard and I'm not taking putting it down once and dragging it all the way to the end I am dabbing here <laughs> dabbing I'm placing the brush here and then right beside it and each time I put it down against my skin it's placing a line and it's connecting the line so now I normally start from a quarter away from the beginning to the end and then I go back in connecting from that line and go forward I'm just taking that brush and I'm going back into the pomade <laughs> I say pomade. My brother-in-law says pomade. So I'm trying to be fancy during this video and say pomade. <laughs> okay, anyway. So now I'm going to take the brush parallel to the brow. But now instead, I'm flicking it up. I'm pressing it down and flicking it up. Press and flick. And then when I get to the tail end, I kind of just drag it across. And then I get in the front. The more product on your brush, the more it's going to put down when you put when you place it against the brow. What I do is I take the most of it and I flick it back. And then when there's almost nothing left on my brush, I go into the front and flick it straight up. And now I'm just taking the brush and I am going over the hairs, trying to fill in any areas that I haven't already. And I am kind of carving out the top just a little bit, but because there's not a lot of product on my brush, it's not leaving a harsh line. And I will go up. And I'm going to take a spoolie again and brush back through the brow. You can always go back and fix any areas that you feel like needed. I feel like this brow is just a little bit more stubborn than the other one. There. That's pretty close for me. Um, I never get my brows exactly the same. There's always one that is maybe longer, maybe a little darker, maybe a little thinner. It's always going to happen. Um, well, not always, but... For me, it always happens, and I'm okay with that. As long as they look close enough to where I can stand it, I know no one else is going to be up on my face that close. Like, mm, her brows don't match. Nah, honey, you need to back it up two steps, boo-boo. So anyway, these are the brows just filled in now. A lot of people don't like to do the concealer under it to clean it up because they feel like that looks fake. You don't have to do it. I like to do it. Um, so I'm going to. And the concealer that I'm using today is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to draw a line in my line. I am not going all the way up to my brow. I'm going to come below my brow. Do a line like this. Make sure. And I'm going to blend that concealer up. Okay. So 
So then I'm going back through the brows again just to be sure everything looks like I want it. And my little secret to doing my brows is I don't do my brows very hard. I don't use a lot of product and I don't use anything that's dark. I like to use lighter colors and when I am putting it down on top of the brow, I don't want to cover my hairs completely. I just want to fill in any area that is sparse that needs a little bit of help. So that is pretty much what I do. Comment below, like this video for more and also subscribe to my channel. I am doing a giveaway soon and I would love for you to be a part of it. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.